Throw on your best khaki shorts, put on your hat and strap on a pair of boots. It's time for more animal excursions with me, your host, Safari Man Dan. And my assistant, Amelia Amazing. Today's animal, the chicken. G'day fellow adventurers and welcome to another episode of Safari Man Dan. Last week, you saw Amelia and I wrestling with lions and hibernating with polar bears. But today, we'll be looking at an animal that lives much closer to home, the chicken. Now, have you ever been walking in the grocery store with your mum, dad, or other assorted loved one, and you look in the display case and think, gee, I wonder where this chicken comes from? Well, chickens come from farms. And today we're going to take a look at how a chicken goes from being an egg to a full grown chicken ready for the supermarket. First thing you need to know is that there are different types of chicken farms. Some farms raise chickens to lay eggs. And other farms grow chicken for their meat. A chicken grown for its meat is called a broiler chicken. An egg used to hatch a broiler chicken comes from a farm that has broiler breeders, where there are roosters, or boy chickens, and hens, girl chickens. A hen will lay up to 150 eggs in her lifetime, but only fertilized eggs will hatch. Eggs can only be fertilized if roosters and hens mate. After the hens lay the eggs, the eggs are moved to a hatchery in trucks. This is a hatchery. This is where the eggs come until it's time for them to hatch. You know, I've got an egg. Excellent idea, Amelia. I, Safari Man Dan, will transport myself into a fertilised egg so I can bring you the real story behind what happens at a hatchery. What are you talking about? Here goes. Fireman Dan, are you really in there? Yes! Amelia, I'm here in the egg. It's pretty dark in here and gooey, but I'm ready to go. Where to first? Well, let's go to the hatchery and find out. Only the best eggs are chosen to be hatched. They must be clean, have no cracks, and be evenly sized. They are placed on trays large side up and moved into an incubator. I tell you, it sure is toasty in here. That's because eggs have to be kept nice and warm so that the fertilized eggs will grow into chicks. Now that I'm in the incubator, how long do I have until this egg hatches and I can get out of here? Well, you'll be in the incubator for about 18 days. The eggs are turned every hour to keep the chicks as safe as possible. Then you'll be moved into a hatcher for three days. It takes 21 days in total to hatch a chicken egg. 21 days? <laughs> Amelia, are you sure I need this shot? Come on, Dan, it's no big deal. Getting vaccinated protects us from getting diseases. Chicks are vaccinated at the hatchery to keep them healthy, too. I guess that's why I'm so ch chicken! Once the chicks have been vaccinated, they're taken to chicken farms like this one in big trucks. Chicken farmers need to prepare for the arrival of their new chicks. In fact, the farmers do a whole bunch of things to make sure the chicks are comfortable in their new home. Before the chicks arrive, the farmers make sure that the barns are clean and warm. Most people don't realize that the farmers even wash their barns and disinfect the inside before the new flock of chicks arrive. The air is fresh and the bedding is dry to keep them comfortable. There is feed and water placed close to the floor so the chicks can easily reach it. Chicken farmers really do care about their chicks. Why is it so important for the farms to be so clean and warm? Well, it has to do with something called biosecurity. That means that farmers do everything they can to keep their chickens healthy. Healthy chickens make for healthy people. For instance, to stop people from bringing in germs and diseases, farmers have a dress code. 
You mean like the nice clothes you wear to a fancy restaurant? Not exactly. They cover their outside clothes with coveralls, change their boots, and wash their hands. Sometimes they even shower before going in to see the chickens. This helps keep germs out. Nowadays, farmers use computers to make sure their chickens are in the safest conditions possible. Computers control the temperature of the barn, keep the air fresh, and control the lighting. There's even an alarm to alert the farmers if the temperature isn't right or if the power goes out. Amelia, I'm just about to dig into this tasty bowl of cereal. This isn't cereal, it's feed for some of the chickens at the farm. Huh? Farmers know that a nutritious diet is an important part of keeping chickens happy and healthy. Broiler chickens eat corn, barley, wheat, protein from soy and canola meal, as well as vitamin and mineral supplements, but no steroids or hormones. The barns also have an automatic feeding system so the birds can eat whenever they want. Sounds great. <laughs> this is meant for chickens only. Farmers also make sure the chickens always have fresh, clean water to drink. They get their water through a nipple drinking system. When the chicks first come to the barn, they are attracted to the shiny droplet of water on the nipple, so they peck at it. This is how they learn to find their water. Chickens grow quite fast. In fact, they'll gain 50 times their body weight in about 40 days. A full-grown broiler chicken will weigh about 2 kilograms. In total, farmers will have a flock of chickens on their farm for about 5 to 6 weeks. Once fully grown, these chickens will be trucked from the farm and become part of a healthy diet. Just like these chickens need to eat barley, corn or wheat to feed their bodies and keep them healthy, we rely on them as part of our diet. These chickens are raised so that they can provide us with some of the nutrients we need to be healthy people. That's right, and that's why farmers take such great care of their chickens to provide healthy food for us. Thanks a lot, guys. Well, that's our show for today, and I know I learned a lot about chickens and how much goes into raising them. So, from Amelia Amazing and myself, Safari Man Dan, have a great day and keep on clucking. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>